here I wanted to get another really ultra close up shot with my macro lens in slow motion. You can see that again as this water droplet hits the surface of this sodium here it immediately begins to bubble there producing hydrogen gas. Heat is generated because of the chemical reaction and the electrons being rearranged come crashing down into lower energy states generating a lot of heat and uh, ultimately this hydrogen will ignite if there's enough water and enough heat present but the flame on the hydrogen is almost completely transparent and difficult to see. You can see that as the reaction gets going first it's sort of like gentle simmer and then it turns into a completely consuming sort of boiling motion again throwing off these particles and all of this happens in just a couple of seconds when we look at the original footage that I showed you just a second ago and once again you can see the bits of sodium floating on the surface of the water ball that's basically there because it's almost like the terminator and beginning to kind of melt and change shape right before your eyes this is really an incredible shot. I dropped a small chunk of sodium in a test tube and it obviously does the same thing. It produces a hydrogen. Heat is building and building and building and when it gets ready for the explosion it is channeled up through to the mouth of the test tube where you can see a shock front, an actual shock front and an ignited hydrogen and sodium fireball there. And you can see the chunks of sodium are molten and flying out and you can actually see the smoke in the same process there. Now this is just too cool not to look at again up close. Look at the boundary between the flame and the material shooting out along each of the trajectories. Bits of molten sodium flying through the air in the associated smoke trails behind them. Here, take a look at the sodium right behind the clamp. It's bubbling and boiling away. And I'm panning the camera up because in just a second, it's going to explode. And you're going to see a lot more molten sodium than in the last time. You can see the chunks flying out and then the ignition happens. And if you look carefully, all of that, some of it is water, but some of it is molten sodium flying out of the test tube. Now look at this piece near the end. I wanted to do a wide shot so you could see this process happening here. You can see the fragments coming out, the ignition happen, all of the smoke trails there and the molten sodium flying out the end and the orange color fading to the background. But you can still see those glowing chunks of sodium. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.